a bit more useful to society. <laughs> History books tell us that penicillin was a chance discovery made by Alexander Fleming. He certainly found a mould growing in a Petri dish killed bacteria, but it wasn't him that turned it into the miraculous medicine we know today. The thing is that Fleming was unable to extract anything useful from his mould, so his discovery just lay gathering dust, until more than ten years later, a mild-mannered biochemist called Norman Heatley took the first steps towards producing a life-saving drug. Heatley was crucial to turning Fleming's discovery into a practical drug, yet he remains largely unrecognised. He was part of an Oxford team of scientists who in the late 1930s were searching for a new way to combat bacterial infection. If the bacteria killing properties of Fleming's mould could be isolated, it might prove useful. Dr Eric Sidebottom, a friend of Heatley's, recalls Norman's key contribution to the team. So he was the guy who developed all the methods really for extracting and purifying the penicillin, and that was a real problem. That's where Fleming failed. Heatley devised an ingenious chemical process that allowed the penicillin to be extracted from the mould, but there was still a long way to go. The first stuff that was used for experimental purposes was, was probably not much more than 1% penicillin and 98, 99% impurity, and they gradually, slowly improved that. Having cracked the extraction technique, the next step would be to test penicillin on mice to see if it killed infections. To do that, they needed to grow more mould. Heatley came up with an unusual solution. And we found that you could grow the stuff in tins, curiously enough, but the best uh, container was the hospital bedpan. Using bedpans and milk churns, the team eventually produced enough penicillin to begin animal trials. I stayed at the lab till 3.45, by which time all four control animals, the ones who hadn't received penicillin, were dead. But the treated mice seemed very well. It really looks as if penicillin may be of practical importance. That's a classic understatement. They could now start human trials, but for much bigger subjects, they needed a lot more penicillin. They achieved this with the help of the penicillin girls, six young women who grew mold in hundreds of vessels. After years of hard work, the Oxford team proved that penicillin could be used to kill bacterial infections in humans. It was widely used in the war effort, where it was credited with saving countless soldiers' lives. Production began on an industrial scale, and penicillin became the world's first effective antibiotic. In 1945, the Nobel Prize for Medicine was awarded to Fleming and the lead scientists on the Oxford team. Norman Heatley didn't get a mention. He was considered too junior. Despite this oversight, Heatley's daughter, Tamsin, thinks her dad was too humble to be bitter. I remember hearing him at a party once, and somebody said, oh, what do you do? And he said, oh, nothing much. I, I just mostly am a gardener. He was very modest, very kind. There was a war on. People were losing their lives all around. He had strong moral code and felt that he could help mankind. Norman Heatley was a vital link in the chain of people that turned a medical curiosity into a wonder drug. Since its discovery, penicillin has saved the lives of millions of people. Wow. Oh, what a well, yeah.